Fancy intro music, yeah! Hey there, Star Trek Fleet Command fans. Welcome back to your life. Because this is no game. This is serious business. Don't ever play around. Don't joke around. Don't act like this. This is your life. So now we're going to learn lessons about how to make your life better, okay? So pay attention. <laughs> Joking aside, we're going to talk about Philip and Giorgio today. Oh, man. Missed opportunity for a dad joke. I could have said, George joking aside. <laughs> Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Gosh, it's so bad, I should probably cut it out, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna talk today about Philippa Giorgio, why she's so great, but to do that, we have to talk about burning as a whole, and we have to talk about Nero. So I'm gonna use this ship. Right here. The board is to display what I'm talking about while also using logs from a friend of mine from Server 32 to show off how she works. So. What we're actually going to do first is actually pull up the officer. Now, I don't have her on my main account, which is the one you currently see in the background, but we can still look at the basis of how she works. Also, shout out to our good friends at Elcars for providing the full stats of how she procs and blah, 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 blah. You know, just look at Elcars, type in her name, you, you know how to do it. Deceptive Warfare, this is the one we're focused on. At the beginning of each round, Giorgio has a 50 percent chance of burning the opponent for two rounds now that is the starter ability it maxes at 80 percent it actually follows the exact same upgrade path as james t kirk and that's very important because she's essentially james t kirk copy and pasted to work for burning it's amazing so let's look at the captain's ability just to note it at the start of each round if the opponent is burning captain Giorgio decreases the attack of all officers on the opponent's ship by 100 percent for that round may result in decreased in damage well you don't say so let's talk about <laughs> let's talk about why it's important. The key is actually right here for two rounds, but at the beginning of each round. And some of you are going, well, why is that important for it to be the beginning of each round? Because if you remember, Nero works for two rounds, and it just said Giorgio works for two rounds. You all read it there. So now we're gonna scroll up, scroll up, scroll, scroll, scroll. Where, where dang, dang, nabbit. Where's my Nero? Who stole my Nero? Sort by group. So embarrassing. Okay, here's my Nero. So everybody remember, see the flaws, two rounds. So now everybody's going, okay, well, if they're both two rounds, what is the difference? So let me tell you a little backstory. Burning has always been an issue for a lot of people because the proc rate is an issue. It's not that it doesn't proc enough, it's that it doesn't work accurately when it procs or that is when it procs not everything can work with it now what i'm saying might sound a little bit confusing but bear with me i'll actually show you that in action i'll show you an example of why it struggle buses so i went out and hit some hostiles as we are tend to do in this wonderful life that we live i hit it at level 39 and if you see the crew that i'm using kumak nero and dj aoki now, very specifically using these because of when they launch compared to Nero. And then we'll see a wonderful little video I told you about here where we got our friend to use a couple different ships, use a Stella, use a Voculus, and showing Giorgio work with similar layouts. So key is look at these and now look at the battle log. So this is a three-round fight. So this is a perfect example that should be able to show how these buffs work. So we go down here, hit it. All right, we hit, bam. So the battle has started. Remember, some officers only work if certain applications are there present at the beginning of battle. So Nero launches during the round, in the middle of the round. So gun, there's Nero. Now look, there's nobody else. There's no DJ Aoki launching. Remember, DJ Aoki launches when the ship is burning. So let's go and hit Nero. See, now remember, just real quick, we're not gonna cover it right here, but this is wrong. It's actually like the reverse. It works exactly like Zhao. But anyway when the ship is burning but this has to proc at the start of a round at the very beginning so if burning happens in the middle of the round for nero this counts as round one of burning so nero goes off in round one this counts as his round one the problem is nobody else is using this round one so now we get to round two and there's everybody activating there's kumak there's dj Aoki. so now we have round two they're active now, the second round, in theory, if it was a truly last two rounds, would be round three. 
There's no DJ Oki, there's no Okumek. So with that combination burning, you only got one round of your officers benefiting from burning. That's the problem with Nero. Does that make sense? Now let's take a look at this video with some logs. Oh, mute this because they had like crickets in the background or something. So we're going to hit a separatist boss with this one. And we're going to fast forward through. And I see the crew is now the exact thing we're using, except we replaced Nero with Giorgio. That's all we've done. Replace Nero with Giorgio. So if we go on here, you see the very start. Remember her ability right there, right there. You see it 50% right there at the start, at the start of a round. Why is that important? Because you see it right here. There is DJ Oki working now. There is Kumak working now at the start of a round. Now this goes 24 rounds. But now the key is, is it there in round two? You bet your bottom dollar right there. So what Giorgio has now allowed players to do is take a, a mechanic that was not a bad mechanic. Burning as, you know, that 1% in the background burn is nice. You know, it pairs well with the auger, which we'll talk about in a second. But now it took that and elevated it to now being useful in several applications. Remember, this is not the only, DJ Oki is not the only one. Vimit now actually matters. Remember, Vimit was basically working half the amount of time that Spock was. And Vimit is designed, if you remember in the wording, let's back out, I'll show you in the group. Remember, Vimit is designed to basically be an anti-Spock. But if he's not proccing every round, then he's not negating Spock's ability. So if we're going right here to Vimit, remember, feel the heat at the beginning of each round. If the opponent's ship is burning, Vimit decreases its shield health by equal amount to 400% of the health off. So he's basically the antithesis of a Spock. However, if you don't have burning every round or you, you, you're waiting on Nero to basically activate it every other round, well, you're not going to get as many of procs, which means you're not getting the ability to negate the very good Spock. But now you can with Giorgio. That is the power of Philippa Giorgio. That is how she's coming in. Synergy be damned. And by the way, very good officers besides her. The, the whole set has got some good stuff. Saru, we'll talk about him at some point. But that is what's making Giorgio such an important card in the game right now. Is It's taking burning and elevating it to morale's level. Morale is still probably going to be the number one. I'm not taking that away from morale. It is... It's the big dog, okay? Oh, 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 oh. That's morale. But no longer is burning. Yip, 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 yip. Now burning is oh. maybe just one, oh. but it's still there. It's getting there, okay? It's, it's getting there. It's, it's math and it's working. It's making sense. I'm so happy. Anyway, I don't know what's going on today, fellas. So you look at Philippa Giorgio and what she can do, and even pairing her with the synergy of a Michael Burnham, and you see this is another good ability that we'll talk about. I love the tooltip we're adding now where you can only trigger once. I like that the details are coming in some of these new officers. We need to go back and fix some of the old details. But ever since Vimit got a buff to his ability a couple months ago, and now that we're getting Giorgio, you're seeing burning take a little bit more of a forefront. And there's one other ship that I want to remind you is very important for all of this, and why it can really help burning, and that is the auger. Now, many of you don't have the auger, so I waited to the end of this video to talk about it. But remember the obliterate weapon. As long as the opponent ship is burning, if the opponent is hit with the obliterate weapon, the auger increases all weapon damage by 128%. Now, that's just based on my tier and my level over there, obviously. But the key with all this is when burning is going. Now, if you actually do the best possible scenario, and we ran this out with Gregor, with Nero, the obliterator weapon cannot proc every time the obliterator weapon fires. So basically, you're having times where the auger has to skip over this bonus. That sucks, right? With Giorgio, potentially no longer. How Giorgio works, you have the ability, especially as she levels up, for this gun, every time it fires, to give you that bonus. It's basically like Decius and Nero combined on crack. I mean, it's a huge bonus, and it does work, but it doesn't work as much as it should because of how Nero's been firing. Now that Giorgio's here, the auger, now mixed with things like Marcus working, the auger can start going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the infamous Enterprise, and that's just fantastic. Enterprise is still the best ship, but with the upgrades to burning coming in the past couple of months, including this brand-new officer, well, if you see her in a, an auction, 
go after her. If you can't get her, well, hopefully you can get her in another means because very, very good, very good. And we've done the math. You see it here. She works. And now we just need to go out and have fun in this brand new life. It's not a game. Love you guys and gals. Live long and prosper. Stay safe with the Space Cowboys. And remember, this is the channel to come to for all those that need information, knowledge, and to increase their mental acuity. Oh, yes. So hit that like button, subscribe, follow the channel. If you're feeling really generous, join so they help support us financially so more of this stuff can come out. And maybe hit that PayPal link, Venmo, whatever. I don't care. Just support my family. My kids need to eat. And you can help with it happen. Love y'all. See you on the next one. Peace. An even better outro than the intro. Yeah!